Hi, I'm Mike Zeller, Corporate Chef for Grecian Delight, and we're here to show you how to make a healthy meal in 25 minutes or less. Today, we're going to show you a Mediterranean fish taco, and we have everything here in front of us to show you what's going to be included in the meal. A little olive oil, some of our vegetables, tzatziki sauce, pico de gallo, some cabbage, some spinach, and our fish and some of our sea and salt. And let's not forget our pita bread. All right. So, what we have going, we have our fish, and what we're going to talk about with our fish is you can use any type of fish that you like. You can use a fresh fish like we have here, and we're going to saute that in the pan with a little olive oil. We can also use a fish that you bought from the store, pre-breaded and already done, um, or you can deep fry yours. Whatever you like, you can definitely do it that way. Remember, the thing that we like to do is we like to do it fresh and the better and healthier way for you to so have some cabbage that we're going to add into it I love the cabbage it gives a nice crunch to it nice flavor we also have some spinach here that was cut really really nice and thin here's I'm gonna give you a quick little tip how to do the spinach what we do is we take the spinach take the edges off we're gonna roll this up really nice and tight just that we're going to take our knife keep your fingers out of the way we don't want to be cutting any fingers off doesn't add to the flavor nice and thin nice and thin just like that and you get a whole stack done really really quick it's real quick and real easy so you can see how that looks and that's what we're going to add on to our nice little spinach remember the darker the greens the better they are for you okay and again this is about a healthy meal choice fresh fish steamed and sauteed, fresh greens, the darker the better, little crunch for that. We also have some pico de gallo here. Now there's tomatoes, there's onions, some green peppers, and I also have some fresh cilantro in there right now. Some tzatziki sauce, we're going to add the tzatziki sauce as our sauce to our fish taco, and then we have our fresh vegetables. Our vegetables here that we chose today are a blend of vegetables. We have broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and some peas. I like that as again you can see the dark colors into it it's quick it's easy it's fresh and you can actually eat everything there can be eaten raw um, I like to touch them just a little bit right in the frying pan real quick and easy and again the reason we're using a lot of different vegetables in there somebody at the table will definitely like whatever it is so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a little bit of our olive oil we're gonna put it into our pan as you can see it's just a little bit of olive oil we're going to take our fish that we seasoned with a salt-free seasoning to add a little flavor. We're going to put that in and we're going to let that cook. Now, you can even take a pan and put a lid over the top with a little bit of water, cover it up and steam the fish. Now remember, again, fresher the better. Again, and if your family's not, if you don't love fish and you want to have pork or shrimp or beef or chicken, anything can be made into a taco. Enjoy your meal, but for today, we're gonna do it with some fish. Okay, while the fish is finished cooking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our pita bread into the, into the pan and heat that up also. Again, a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna place it into the pan. Now, as you can see, in pita, as along with every other type of flat bread, there's lines in the bread that we have, and you can see that. What you wanna do is when you're making your taco or folding it for any other type of sandwich that you're using this flat bread for, you want to warm the pita on both sides, probably take about 30 seconds on each side, and then when you put it down, you want to put, put it down so that the lines are straight in front of you, so that when you fold the sandwich over, you'll be folding it like that. Okay, our bread's finishing up now. We're going to slide this out of the pan, just like this, and we're going to set it down again. Take a look where our lines are running, okay? While that's been setting there for just a second, we're going to wipe out the pan a little bit because we have all our bread heated now. We're going to remove that. We're going to add just a touch again of olive oil and we're going to add our fresh vegetables into there and get those going. So just a little bit, we're going to roll them around, make sure we get them covered. We're going to let those go for right now. While we have this sitting in front of us, again the lines, we're going to bring the fish over. Now one thing I know a lot of people afraid of, of cooking fish and one of the things you want to do is when you cook fish you want to make it so that if you take a look at the fish how nice and white it gets inside when fish is raw before you put it in the pan take a look it kind of has a bluish color to it that's that's when it's not done so you want to get that away and you want to have it so it's just nice and white and flaky just like this is 
that's where you don't want to overcook the fish. So you just want to get it where that blue is going away and the white's just nice and flaky. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this fish and I'm going to just break this up just a little bit like you can see here. And you can have it bigger pieces. I like mine just a little bit so you can just like this. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the cabbage and I'm going to set this down. Again, we're going to lay it so that everything runs this way. A little bit of our nice green spinach. Again, that adds great color, great flavor. And I'm going to take a little bit. I like to add my fish right here. reason I do my fish at this point is it helps soften a, bit, a little bit of the, of the uh, spinach and helps kind of more or less like give it a little bit of a cook. Just because the fish is nice and hot right now. I'm going to take my fresh pico and I'm going to top this right over the top of it. Like that. A little bit of our fresh tzatziki sauce right up and down. And this is going to be really, really good. Now, at this point, you can squeeze some lemons or some limes on. I like to just fold this up and get this onto the plate. And there you go. There's our Mediterranean fish taco.